I'm Tom. And I'm Michael. And we're, we're the, the Wine guys. guys. So Tom, here we are in Von Vittorio's Terrace, here at the, on the property, and uh, it's a beautiful May morning. It's beautiful. The vines are, uh, bud break happened a few weeks ago, they're really starting to go, and here we are in the heart of uh, Cabernet country. Napa exactly. Valley is world renowned for that grape. And we've been renowned for that since <laughs> right. you know, the 70s, making great Cabernets. And we wanted to really tell you some exciting news. And, and you know, we're talking about Cabernet. Part of this video is to really share with you what we think are some great buying tips here at the winery. Absolutely. And I know often I get a lot of calls from some of our, our best friends and family around the country. Tom, what should I buy this month or what's new? Hey, it's Cabernet. Absolutely. And uh, we've been blessed to receive some great scores. And our Cabernets have been rated well over the years. We've won many gold medals, sweepstakes awards. But the Wine and Spirits, um, there's a magazine that, that features that called the Wine Enthusiast. All right. And it's now the largest Wine and Spirits publication in the world. Uh, they've printed something like 300 million catalogs in the last 30 <laughs> years. And uh, so lately they've been reviewing our wines. And I, let me share with you this. So this is just a, a listing for the wine enthusiast. All five of our Napa Valley cabs have been rated 90 points or higher with our vineyard designates, the Preston and Morzoli, receiving 92 points. And, and the Mountain Vita, 92 and the Mountain, as yeah. well. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. And you know, let's not forget about our, our just straight Napa Valley cab. Uh, the most recent uh, wine enthusiast came out and rated that 90 points as well. Yeah, that just so, happened last week. Just last week. Yeah. So, so all five of our Cabernets, 90 points and above. Well, what happened in 2008 that made this such a great event? I mean, for us to, to do a, a, a sweep, so to say, on these caps, what happened? Well, you know, 2008 was just a really nice vintage. Uh, there was, a, you know, in the valley there was a little frost, but we sort of uh, evaded that. Yeah, we and uh, that. there was a little bit of rain in October, but at that point we had already harvested a, a lot of the grapes and it wasn't that much rain to really uh, affect the quality. No, I, I think what it did just settled the dust. I know we always freak when we, uh, we see rain come. Rain at harvest. Yeah. yeah. And uh, unlike the last couple of vintages where we did get substantial rain, uh, it was just a tiny bit. So yeah, it was a great growing season. There were some fires in certain parts of Northern California, but we were unaffected by that as well. Right. So we, you know, we really were lucky in that respect and made some outstanding wines. So a great vintage. This is, a, you know, you have to come here, taste these wines. If you can't come to the winery, you need to, to get online get and online. buy them because it's, uh, you know, this is to have a lineup of five great Cabernets all from one vintage, and they won't be around for that long. No, it wasn't wasn't a particularly big vintage, and uh, you know we uh, we just released these wines, um, uh, the Preston. I think we just released uh, a week and a half ago. Right. So uh, you know they're all they're all ready to go. We we don't release the wines until they're ready. So. Um, they're just giving so much pleasure right now. But, Rich, bold style. But sure, but Michael, these are also wines that are gonna age for quite a while. Too. Well, they're Napa Valley Cab. That's right. That's that's the that's the beauty of it. You know, and it's what one of the things that makes it so world renowned. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We've put them up against the French, against the best Bordeaux's and and uh, come out on top. So uh, Well we make a lot of different wines here at Visa Two and everyone has their favorites. Some of you might like our Rieslings, some like our Zins, uh, but when it comes to Cabernet, that's really the scorecard that that the critics use to really rate a winery. Yeah. I mean, it's really it's it's as we talked earlier, it's the top dog here in the Napa sure Valley, is. and a lot of people go to great lengths to make the best cab they can. So we're at a tremendous competition, you know, and for us to go toe to toe uh, with these kind at, at these great five. prices too, five wines. And don't forget, these are great pricing. It's all direct to consumer. You can't buy these wines anywhere else, either here at the winery or online. And so remember, you're buying these wines at just like you'd buy from the local produce stand. Absolutely. There's there's no markups involved. You're buying it direct. And so you know these wines are forty five, fifty dollars a bottle. Napa cabs just a little over thirty. You know these are wines that would sell virtually for twice that. If you're, if our wines were distributed, absolutely, absolutely. So keep that in mind. I know that's why a lot of you enjoy our wines because this pricing is is just it's a great deal. It is a great deal. You know, I mean, 
I, I, I look at some of the other Rutherford cabs and you know that they're starting at eighty five a hundred dollars a bottle easily from some of the really small boutique places and you know we've uh, we've been doing it for a long time and, and we know how to to make great wine for a great price too. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, I'm talking about a great wine. Let's uh, yeah. let's toast to the 2008 vintage and uh, and to our winemakers and grape growers for an outstanding lineup of cabernets. Absolutely, cheers, right. Tom.